can't take it! Hey, NPC. What do you think about Starfield on Linux? This isn't worth it. This is hopeless! Hello, everyone. This is Richard. Welcome to Starfield Essentials. Starfield on Linux is nothing to scream about. I'll share how I got it working. It was surprisingly easy. And I have a surprise at the end about this video. I currently have about a thousand hours in Starfield, with about half on Xbox Series S and half on Steam or Xbox for PC. On PC, I've played on a 2018 era Dell gaming laptop and now on a 2024 gaming PC. This rig has an AMD 7600X CPU and an NVIDIA 4070 Ti Super GPU. All of my Starfield PC gaming so far has been on Windows 10 or 11. However, I've grown increasingly worried about the direction Windows is taking. I decided to evaluate the state of Starfield on Linux for myself. I first used Linux 25 years ago, and at one point was multi-booting Red Hat, Debian, FreeBSD, Solaris, and Windows, all before virtualization existed. Today I run several Debian-based servers in my home lab. For this project, I wanted a distro based on Debian and as desktop friendly as possible. I also did not want to carve out space on my Windows drives for another operating system. I have two 2 terabyte SSDs in my PC, but I bought a third just for Linux. I enjoy watching Christopher Barnett's YouTube channel explaining computers. I noticed he also installed Linux on a separate SSD, as shown in this video. Christopher is a fan of Linux Mint, which is based on Ubuntu, which is based on Debian. I bought a third 2TB SSD, installed Linux Mint on a USB stick, and opened my PC. I removed both Windows SSDs and installed the new SSD for Linux. I booted from the USB stick and installed Linux Mint. One of the most important parts of installation was selecting the right video driver. I chose the NVIDIA driver 550, which supports my 4070 Ti Super. After installation, I booted into Linux Mint and ensured everything was working. I powered down, reinstalled the two Windows SSDs, and rebooted. I used the BIOS menu to select the operating system I want. Both Linux and Windows worked fine. After booting into Linux again, I installed Steam, then Starfield. It installed the Proton Experimental Compatibility software automatically. Next came the moment of truth. Starfield ran perfectly. I played with the display settings to match what I was running on Windows, and everything seemed to work fine. Now for the surprise. Not only did I run Starfield on Linux, I also captured this gameplay on Linux, and edited and produced this video on Linux. You see, on Windows, I capture game footage using OBS Studio, and edit and produce videos using Shotcut. Both programs are open source and available on Linux. So I just manually migrated my settings to the Linux versions, and everything was fine. I had two minor issues with this process. First, I was not able to use hardware acceleration when making proxies for videos in Shotcut. This was not a big deal, and I just turned it off. Second, my default audio was a bit lower than normal. I had to tune the settings to produce acceptable audio. My verdict is that Starfield runs well on Linux, thanks to the compatibility work done by Steam. I knew that many of you run Starfield on the Steam Deck, but I honestly did not know what to expect. When I first used Linux, and also FreeBSD, on the desktop, I had to monkey around with x.org conf files and recompile kernels and a ton of other nonsense. The year of the Linux desktop was always around the corner. Well, Everything about today's video was done on Linux, which I consider a minor miracle. What has been your experience with Starfield on Linux? Have you tried running it anywhere else that I have not mentioned? If you made it to this part of the video, let me know by leaving a comment with the phrase, What about FreeBSD? If you enjoy this content, please feel free to like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring the bell icon and select all notifications to show that it really is the year of Linux on the desktop. 
Check out my other Starfield videos if you like this sort of play. My name is Richard. I will see you in the Starfield. I hope someone picks me up soon. I hate waiting. Worth it. Ugh, this is going to take forever for someone to pick me up.